morning. Is Mr. Errol in? Yes, but he can't see anyone. I'm not at all surprised after that party last night. Tell him Gloria is here. I'm sorry, but he doesn't want to be disturbed. You can't go in there. Oh, no. Oh! oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, dear, what a voice. <clears throat> I must have done an awful lot of yelling last night. <sighs> well, who are you? Don't be so naive. You haven't forgotten me already. Huh? I was at the Pelican Club last night, and you insisted I join your party. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> See what you mean? Well, uh, you shouldn't have come. What do you want? My compact. Compact? Yes. While we were dancing, I put it in your coat pocket for safekeeping. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't remember. Oh, dear me, I changed my clothes this morning. Hope my wife doesn't find it. Well, so do I. That compact costs $200. Mm -hmm. I better find it before my husband misses it. Oh, yes, you must do that. Are you married? Good morning, Mrs. Errol. I want to see my husband. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Errol is here. Oh, boy, here comes your compact now. Oh, yes. Well, hello, darling. What brings you downtown so early? This. I found it in your coat pocket this morning. Mm. Pretty, isn't it? Well, is that all you had to say? Well, what's all the excitement about? You act as if something is wrong. Well, finding a compact in your husband's coat pocket isn't exactly what you call normal. Or is it? Well, yes. Yes, it is that the husband buys his wife a compact and then forgets to give it to her. You'd better think of a better one than that. I will, Newman. I mean, to, hmm? that compact has been used. Used? I. Oh, of course, because you mean, of course it's been used. I, 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 I knew that when I bought it. Bought it? Oh, well, I buy it, I bought it. I, uh, look, I was walking along the street, found a pawn ticket, took it to a hawk shop, and this is what the guy gave me for ten... Oh. Well, of course, if you don't want it... Oh, well, I'll keep it. I, uh... I'm sorry, dear, for, for mistrusting you. Right. No, but you spoil every nice little thing I want to do for you. Then. Forgive me. <laughs> well, yes, darling, now run along. I'm going to be awfully busy. Bye. Bye. What do you mean, giving my compact to your wife? Shh, shh, shh. I'll buy you another one just like it. You're darn right you will. Yeah. Don't lose your temper and shout so much. Send in Ned Brooks. Yes, sir. Uh, the name is Gloria Richards. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no. You're not going to get your name on any of my checks. What's up, boss? <clears throat> Here. Take this little lady down to the jewelry store and buy her a compact. What, for $200? Yes, sure. Here, use my car. Goodbye. You bet your sweet life. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> yes? Everything all right, Mr. Errol? Oh, everything's all right. Mortis is setting in. Or gangrene. Here's that pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, 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 this is good. Pretty much what a fine spot you put me in. Well, what happened? Everything. After I bought her the compact, she asked me to drive her home. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Me. As I let her out of the car, her husband pounced on me like a wild man. Oh, boy, oh, boy. How I ever got away from him, I'll never know. Uh -huh. But I did and ran down the street. Uh -huh. He started after me. Yes. But Gloria caught hold of him and held him back. Uh, well, you, did, you didn't leave my car, did you? No, after everything quieted down, I went back and got it. Oh. What kind of a husband do you think I am? But listen, Mark. Oh, I'm through. <laughs> Hello? Hello, this is Gloria. Well, now what do you want? My husband's getting a divorce and he's naming you as correspondent. Correspondent? Well, how can he? He doesn't even name. Or does he? He does. He got your name and address from the registration slip on your car. Oh, man, oh, Hello? man. Hello? Looks like you're going to make the front page this time. But you don't have to rub it in. Say, you better get your wife out of town until this thing blows over. 
Yeah, it's not a bad idea. And I know just exactly how to do it. Yes, sir? Get me Dr. Horace Thompson on the phone. Wait a minute. That's your wife's brother, isn't it? Sure, but he's my pal. Oh. It's a good thing I dropped in, Dorothy. You need my attention. Well, how bad is she, Doc? I don't know yet. Oh. How do you feel, dear? Oh, I feel wonderful. Oh. This is all Horace's idea. Well, your brother ought to know. He's a doctor. Well, if it were anyone else but Horace, I wouldn't believe him. Yeah, that's what we're afraid of. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. what's the matter? Blood pressure high, respiration low. Is that bad? Bad. <gasps> it isn't good. I better call an ambulance. Wait a minute. Huh? I haven't decided what's wrong with her yet. Oh. Mm. Her heart's fast. And skipping a little. Mm, dear me. We better rush her to a hospital. Oh, no, wait a minute. This isn't a hospital case. Oh. Bad. Dorothy's suffering from psychothenia. Huh? What's that? Mm, it's been serious in a few more days. Yeah, you're telling me? Oh, and her temperature's up, too. What's psychothenia? I'd rather not tell you, sis. I don't want to frighten you. Leon, you've got to let Dorothy go away somewhere for a couple of weeks. Oh, you bet your life. Oh, but I couldn't possibly do that. Oh, you must, darling. Our whole future depends upon it. Yes, you've got to get away from everything. No visitors, no radio, no newspapers. And no newspapers. Ah, uh, take a grip. Oh, but wait, dear. <laughs> you won't know what I'll need. I'd better do it myself. Hey, well, come on. you better hurry along, dear. She... Now, I'll get your railroad tickets and take care of your taxi. You don't have to worry about a thing. That's the girl. Now, hurry, darling. Hurry. What? Yes, but I felt like an awful eel telling Dorothy all those lies. Mm. Leon, this better not happen again. Don't worry, I'm cured. I have a real patient on this same floor, apartment 206. I'll be in there if you need me. All right. Thanks, Horace. See Mrs. Foster, maybe she'll go with me. All right, I'll finish packing. You've got to go to doctor's orders. Now, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Don't move. Don't move. Go. Sit right down. Go and get your grip. Come on, dear. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up here, Mr. Frank. All right. Yes, sir. That's the girl. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Dorothy. And remember, get plenty of rest. I will. Hey, run along. Mm. There's a girl in there behind the couch. Another one? No, the same one. Get her out of there. Yeah. Yes, dear. Mm. Well, you can come out now. Who are you? I'm a friend of Miss Earls. Come on, come on. Oh, my ankle. Oh, yeah, what happened? Oh, I must have twisted it. Well, sit down here and let me look at it. Oh, oh I'll say you did. Ow! It's swelling rapidly, too. I'd better take it for you. You've been able to walk on that foot for some time. There you are. You sit right down right there. That's the girl. Now, take care of yourself and don't worry about a thing. I'll try not to. Oh, Lord. Well, goodbye, dear. Goodbye.
Did you forget something, lady? No, I just discovered I'm on the wrong train. I should be going to Reno. Oh, boy. That's a load off my mind. Well, nothing to worry about now. Oh. Yes! <sighs> Hey, you can't stay. Get out of here. What right have you got to be? You, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, mm. hey, come on, come on, you got to get out. Get, oh, gracious me, she's committed poison. <laughs> Let me talk to Dr. Thompson in a hurry, please. Dr. Thompson. Hello? Hello, say, listen, that girl's back in my apartment, and she's trying to commit suicide. She has? Yes, she's sprawled out all over Dorothy's bed. You gotta get over here quick. Oh, keep your shirt out. She's all right. I gave her something to put her to sleep. What? Now, don't get excited. Give me a chance. Well, when will she wake up? I gotta get her out of here. My assistant's on his way over there right now. He'll take her off your hands. Oh, thanks. He's at the door right now. Hey, come on, oh, oh. Well, I thought you'd be surprised. I, I just a minute. I mean, oh, what's the matter? Where is she? Well, she's in, where's who? The girl this compact belongs to. Why, that's your compact. Oh, no, it isn't. My compact is in my purse. This compact I found right here in this room. Oh, I wish to... Oh, that's impossible. Show me just where and how you found that compact. All right. I was sitting right over here, and I looked down on the floor, there was a compact. Reached down, and I picked it up, and there it is. Mm hmm. Where's your compact? In my purse. Show it to me. Well, there were two compacts in there a little while ago. Yeah, you see what they mean? The doctor's right. You see, you begin to see things. Come on, you better come right down to the train with me. Come on. Oh, oh, but Leon, I couldn't get it in the day. I'll take one first thing in the morning. You better go now, dear. Otherwise, you're going to imagine all sorts of things. Oh, but I feel awful. I'm going right to my bed. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> well, it's so silly. You say you're going to your bed and you're tired and you want to lie down. Here's a nice lounge right here. Oh, but I'd be more comfortable in my own bed. No, dear, listen. listen. Your bed is all cluttered up. Stay right there and I'll fix your bed and make it more comfortable for you. Go, go, go. Get right in the bed, dear. Get right into bed. Right there. That's the girl. Put up your feet. There you are. Oh, if you could only go to sleep. Oh. What was that? What was what? I heard a groan. Came from under the bed. And see, t -t 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 there you are. That's that the, the trouble of yours, you see. You're getting worse. You're beginning to hear things. Oh, this is terrible. Yes, it's all right, dear. Stay where you are, and I'll get a nice cold towel to put over your eyes. Oh. There it is again. That was me. <gasps> see? Stay oh. where you are. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Mr. Earls in 204. Thank you. There you are. And now, try and go to sleep. I... That's the doctor's assistant. What? I did, I, somebody needs assistance. Oh. Now go to sleep and stay where you are. There's a Mr. Earl in there. Yeah, come in here. Come well, it's about time you got here. Well, I'm sorry. Shh. Well, I had a little trouble finding the place. All right, all right. It's a good thing you got here before her husband did. Husband? Yes. Whose husband? Doesn't make any difference. All you have to do is get her out of here. Now, wait. Shh. Get all of her feet. Come on, get her on there. Hey, uh, yes. Gloria! You know her too? Noah. She's my wife. Huh? 
What happened to her? I, the doctor gave her sleeping tablets. Oh, well, if I could only get my hands on that arrow guy. Yeah. Where is he? I'll go and find him. Wait a minute. Yeah. Who are you? I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm in a hurry. Oh, oh uh, Dr. Thompson sent me, Mr. Arrow. Arrow! Oh, no! Good, good, good. No! 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 That guy tried to kill me. Who is he? I don't know. Let's get out of here before he comes to. Here I am. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, Who's that girl? Uh, what girl? Why, you're seeing things. You uh, bet I am. Uh, mm. What are you doing here? Oh, I don't know. Mark. Who's Mark? My husband. Well? Okay, well, I can explain the whole thing. Explain the whole thing. Look, it happened this way. First of all, I... Oh, you wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll go and pack. What did you do to my husband? Oh, I hit him on the head with a vase, but he'll be all right. Right now, I have a score to settle with my husband. Oh, now, so I've got something to have, have I? Oh, it's my husband. That's all, folks. <laughs>